Hello dear friends, welcome back to our channel. So this is one of the important video, especially this triple IT, triple IT Hyderabad. So there is entrance exam 2023 that is on tomorrow, that is 6th May. So how many marks you need to get it and what are the cutoff if you see, so for example, if you see there are two of exams, we have both UGE as well as the spec. So if you see the pattern of exam in UGE, you have a two sections. So section one is subject proficiency test and other one is say research aptitude test. So you have two sections, section one and section two. In section one, so there is no negative marks. So here you have a negative mark. So just keep in mind, there is a negative marks here. And this is three hours exam. So here spec you have, there is no research aptitude test. So you have only say one hour exam. So if you see the syllabus, here you have both like, you know, physics, say chemistry and maths. So here also you will be having physics, chemistry and maths. Whereas uh, here is, uh, you should have a thinking level is little deeper. So you need to work it. So here is, if you see in the case of spec, you have like physics, chemistry and maths. So here major portion is goes for mathematics and the second one is for physics and then is for chemistry. So like how many marks you need to get it? What are the cutoff if you see? So basically uh, as per this one, the previous, uh, if you see in 2020, there are like, you know, 80 marks out of 150 is a cutoff. Whereas in 2021, 85 or around 150 is a cutoff like that if you see. So if the, whatever, if you see, that means if you are able to write an exam, you are 70% of marks if you are getting. So even, even uh, actually why I am telling 70% means this is for top level, right? So even that is not required, even 60% is also enough. But if you are getting a 70, 60 to 70%, then compulsory you will get the marks. You will get your UGE admissions. Similarly, if you are, uh, say your exam is for 50 marks here, or you can say 60 marks. For example, if it is for 60 marks, if you are getting 60% of this, then that is say 30 marks. So you are getting 30 marks, then you will be qualified for interview. So you will be qualified for interview. So that means how you need to appear, how you need to prepare, uh, I mean how in the exam hall, that means there is one of the important thing you need to make it understand that first of all, go to exam hall very peacefully, then within the proper time, how many hours which has been given, either it is one hour duration or it is three hour duration accordingly how many number of questions were given because it is basically dynamic it used to vary so like you know year to year even it can because this question papers will not be uh, uh, coming out right so previous papers is not nowhere is available right so even it is to vary so what i am trying to tell you so if you are entering into the hall in the exam hall so you see that so whichever is which subject is preferable to you you choose the subject then accordingly, you prepare, uh, you mean, you uh, you appear for it as well as, so whatever is easy, any question paper, if you see either this one or this one, so like 40 to 50 percent of the paper will be easy only. So there will be like direct only. So if you are able to answer that, then the rest is like you need to add it. Like if, for example, if it is 50, then you need to get it, say 10 percent or say 15 percent there what you are supposed to do follow the elimination method then also you apply the cheat cheat code okay so don't directly without reading a question paper without reading anything don't go for cheat code even this cheat code is also works at after reading the question paper and also when you are appearing uh, when you are attempting this one by after eliminating method then there are few things only. Even there is a negative marks is there for some of the cases that you should take care. Okay. So what I am trying to tell you, yes, if you are able to get 60 to 70 percent of marks, you will be qualified for interview. Okay. Either in the UGE as well as in the spec. 
so this is what my uh, in uh, my suggestion to you so you please plan accordingly go to the exam hall very peacefully say that yes you are already prepared and whatever is prepared it has been fun it has been fine so directly go then have a confidence that you will be appearing for the interview right okay thank you all the best